Hello, I'm Roberta Lavin, and I will be your instructor for Advanced Pathophysiology. I would like to welcome you to the class. This, this semester, you will study abnormalities in the functioning of human physiology. As nurses, we support, and in fact believe, that the best approach to healthcare is a holistic approach. I suspect you automatically think mind, body, and spirit when you approach care. Yet, to understand how the mind and spirit affect the body, one must first understand pathophysiology and indeed physiology. Pathophysiology is to nursing what the drum line is to a band. It's the heartbeat. If you understand pathophysiology, then pharmacology and your advanced clinical courses will make much more sense. My goal is to make this fully online course as interactive as possible and as much like a classroom as I can. Some of the things you will see um, from me are recorded lectures. Um, links to outside videos and resources that I found particularly helpful, a blog to ask questions, and a discussion board. In addition to this, this short video, I'm going to add two more videos. One that's going to explain Blackboard to you, and the other that will review the syllabus and my expectations. I, if there's anything that you do not understand about either one of those videos, please ask questions. I hope that in our first discussion, you will each introduce yourselves and tell me what you remember about your undergraduate pathophysiology course and what you hope to learn from this course. It would also be nice if you would tell me something about your learning style and what you find most helpful along with something about your current career, what you want to do in the future, and just something in life that makes you smile. Let me begin by introducing myself. I spent most of my career as a U.S. Public Health Service officer and the last 10 years of that doing disaster management and response. While I was in the U.S. Public Health Service, I did my Ph.D. at the Uniformed Services University for the Health Sciences, which my husband teases me about and calls useless, um, instead of useless. But at any rate, I suspect that's why they try to get people to just say USU. When I retired, I moved to Iowa and accepted a job at Clark University. I just started work at UIW this summer and already love it. I will be teaching predominantly in the FMP program and am the director of that program. Since I ask you to tell me what makes you smile, I will tell you things that make me smile. Great music, flowers, and stupid cat videos. I am a total sucker for stupid cat videos. Um, again, welcome to class. Please feel free to contact me at any time. I'm very responsive to email and also available by phone and Skype. I, I will warn you, I am not good about voicemail messages. I tried to break myself of not answering voicemail, uh, but I'm really bad about it. If you want me to call you, it's better to send me an email with a phone number and say call me. And I'm really good about responding to email. Again, I'm also available by Skype. My contact information is on the syllabus. The only day I take off and try not to respond is on Sunday. Um, and even then, sometimes I will if it's really urgent that you need something. Again, welcome to class, and I look forward to working with you.